Hello everyone, my name is Jax, and in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create your own 5M server on your desktop computer. Now, this is going to be beginner friendly, so I'm going to go pretty slow and kind of explain all the steps as I go, so that way I don't cause any confusion among anyone. So let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the 5M artifacts. So what I just do is I just search 5M artifacts in Google and then it's usually the first link for me, but if anything, you just want to click the one that says build server windows master because we're on windows and we're going to use um, windows because 5M doesn't work on really any other operating system other than windows. So we're just going to go ahead and download the very top one. I don't really recommend downloading any of these two because I personally care about the message that tells you to update because if you download these two, since they're not the latest, latest updated, these ones are just the, the stable versions. But in my experience, every time I click the top one, I've had zero issues. So these two, if you do click these, It'll message you in TX admin, which is what we're going to use. It'll message you in TX admin to update your server. And if you download this one, you won't have that message. So go ahead and click uh, this button right here and you'll see that it downloads. Now you do need a software to extract these files. It's a .7z file. I recommend just downloading 7zip because 7zip is free and it's easy to use and it's Honestly, like, it's not annoying at all. Like, WinRAR, you can use WinRAR. Don't get me wrong, you can use WinRAR. I just don't recommend WinRAR because it constantly asks you to purchase or your trial is running out and all these messages every single time you open a file with WinRAR. So, 7-Zip doesn't do that. So, it's I recommend 7-Zip. So, download 7-Zip. And then once you download and install 7-Zip on your computer and you have this file downloaded, you'll be able to open up a file right here. Now, this is going to assume that you already have a 5M account uh, on this, the 5M forums. And the reason I, I say that is because we're going to go to the Keymaster. So that's keymaster.5m.net. And once you uh, press sign in, you'll be brought to this screen. And if you've never made a server before, you won't see all of these like I have. You will just have like a blank screen and you'll be asked to create a server. So uh, you're just gonna press new server right here. And then you're gonna choose a display name, something that uh, you can remember, or this really is just to identify what server is what. So I already made a key. Uh, for myself and I just put Jax's test server because that's what we're going to use but whenever you make a server you're gonna need to put a display name uh, something to identify your server key and then you need to put your address so uh, for me it's this but you need to put your public IP for home hosting which is what we're doing and if you don't know how to look up your public IP all you need to do is type what's my IP in Google and then you can just click on, and so in my case, this is my IP, my public IPv4 address. You just want to copy this and then put it into here. Pick a server type. So you want to do home hosted, and then which server provider are you using? You're not using a a, a server provider, so you can just type in like localhost, and you should be fine. In my experience, whenever you put a server provider, it honestly doesn't matter because you can really just put anything and it doesn't change anything about the key you could put like i don't know planet earth and then it won't really change anything but uh you just agree to the cat or um check the captcha press generate and then you will see your server right here and this is how you know it's active and you can trash your servers and you can always restore them later and then right here it says you can only have a maximum of three keys at a time so uh but we're only gonna be worrying about one key right now so we're just gonna press on the id and it'll load 
And then right here, we can press copy to copy our key. And now we can minimize this because we don't really need it anymore, or not for now, at least. And we're going to right click on our desktop. We're going to make a new folder and we're going to do, uh, let's just call it my, my cool server and personal preference, but I'm going to make a folder inside this called server files. I'm going to go inside it and open up your um, server.7z file that you downloaded. You're going to do control and A to highlight everything. And then you're going to click and drag into the folder. Release and it'll load, do its thing. And then eventually it'll show up in here. And now we can close this because we don't need it anymore. And then what you're going to do is you're going to press the F key on your keyboard and then you can press, you can double click this or you can press enter. Either way, it still opens up this window. And then we're gonna have this little security alert of asking to add it to the firewall. We're just gonna press allow access. And then like you saw in the background, Chrome automatically opened a new tab to localhost colon 40120. So the numbers is the port that's what that's called. And then this is the quote unquote IP. Localhost is also the numerical IP is 127.0.0.1. But putting it into uh, words, it's just localhost. So you're going to have this console open and it's going to ask you to either go to your localhost 40120 or your actual public IP with the same port and then put the pin. But when it's local hosted, it, it should automatically open up a new window. If it doesn't, you just wanna type in the same exact thing I have here. It'll be here and then you just put in your pin, you press link account. It'll probably, if you're not signed into the forums, you're gonna have to go through all the login process, username, password, or email and password. And then it'll bring you back to this screen with your username, which for me is Jack Stanger, and then you're just gonna press continue. If you are logged in as someone else, you can press not you, and then it'll sign you out, and you can choose a different account. Or if you have a different account, do the same thing, and you'll be brought back to the screen where you can press continue. So we're gonna go ahead and press continue, and it's gonna ask you to make a password, so I'm just gonna put in a password that I choose. We're gonna press agree create master account it's going to ask you to save your password just don't really need it we're going to say you don't have any profile and tx admin select a default so we're going to press next this is not a server name so this is not going to be um your name of the server it's going to be like a a short name so for example like jax's cool server it's not going to show in the 5m server list as this it's just to identify uh, what server you're using so I'm gonna press next now we're gonna be brought to this screen so popular recipes are just to quickly make a server you just it's preloaded it's a quick template and you just you click a couple times and it's loaded but this assumes that you already have a server since you since this is assuming that you've never made a server before you won't have a server already so you don't have to click this button a remote url template is if you have um a url to a template uh like a framework or uh something like that that just will install the server for you specific scripts and things like that custom template is if you're trying to make your own template or if you're testing out a template or if you have uh, like this if you have a template from someone else that someone made and you just copy it all and paste it into here. So these two kind of work the same. This one is just a URL version and this one's just like kind of like a copy paste version or like a do it your own way kind of thing. We're not gonna worry about these three. So we're just gonna worry about this button right here. We're gonna click this and you're not gonna worry about these two because these are uh, Red M, which is Red Dead Redemption. You would only worry about that if you are choosing to run a Red Dead Redemption roleplay server. and these steps that I'm going over, going through 5M and things like that, they're all the same, whether or not you're running Red M, which is Red Dead Redemption Roleplay, or 5M, a like 
GTA roleplay. But in this video, we're just going to demonstrate how to set up a 5M roleplay server, not Red Dem Redemption server. So uh, you don't have to worry about these just for this video. So the first three, the top one is what we're going to use. It's basically just a, a server with just nothing in it. The like base base server. It's just like imagine GTA Online, but take away all the missions, take away all the characters, take away everything, all the mechanics of GTA Online, and then just player npcs and the gta world and that's all you get and then you can add uh, scripts and make it into something so that's like bare bones esx legacy and qb core framework they're both economy frameworks so these are just like one click installs and you don't really have to do anything like that uh, there is more to it regarding like database and things like that but i'm not going to get into that in this video that'll be for another video uh, so let's just click cfx default 5m and it's gonna ask where we want to put the server. So what I'm gonna do for my preference is I'm going to make a folder inside my cool server because I want everything in to be one server. So we're gonna make a new folder and we're gonna say it like, uh, let's say server. I don't know, just a name, it doesn't really matter. Just enough to identify. So. What we're going to do is after I made that folder, all I did was right click, copy address as text, and then you're going to highlight this. Well, first it's going to be like this. It's not going to let you. So you're going to press this button called change path, and then it'll highlight it for you. You're going to paste as plain text. So it should be the directory to your um, server folder. And the folder does have to be empty. If it's not empty, it'll tell you it needs to be empty. So we're gonna press save, and then we're gonna press go to recipe deployer. It's not gonna have a bunch of scripts because it's just, like I said before, bare bones kind of server. We're just gonna press next. And this is where the license key comes in play. So we're gonna have to go back to the key management and we're gonna have to copy our key again to paste into here. And then we're gonna run recipe. It's gonna load pretty much instantly because there's no scripts to install basically. Uh, it's just a bare bones script like map manager and such. We're gonna press next. And um, you can configure this later. Uh, the default kind of way is is uh, fine. Um, what I like to do is I generally like to set the max clients to like one or two, maybe like two, two's a good number, I guess. Uh, don't really touch anything else. Steam Web API key you can get one. I believe it's steamcommunity.com slash dev slash API key. You go there, say like I revoke my Steam API key. Um, you'll be at this screen. Well, first you have to log in into Steam and then you put your domain name. I don't think it matters, but I have a domain. So my domain is just Jack Stanger and I agree. And then register, it'll wait. I have to do a mobile guard authenticator and then actually it doesn't matter. Uh, you just go through the steps, press register. If you have the mobile authenticator, you confirm it and then you copy the key and then replace none as the key. So like whatever, but if you don't have, if you don't want one or you don't need one, you just put none, make sure it's in quotes. Same with the key. Make sure the key is in quotes. If you're using a key, the tags are just for people to find your server. This doesn't matter because it's localhost. It's not public. Only you and those connected to your Wi-Fi can join your server. So you don't have to worry about anyone joining your server. That's why I put the max clients to like two. I don't really, it doesn't really matter. This doesn't change anything. It just, I don't know. It, I just do that as a habit, I guess. The host name. This is the actual name of your server. So I'm just gonna replace this. Actually, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna remove this and do exclamation point. So I just want my server name to be Jackson's cool server because why not? I'm just gonna remove all the CFX words as ever needed. The 
project description that's the description of your server so we can do like um this is jax's amazing 5m server best server in 2023 or something i don't know sure the local is just the um like the language that your server is running so like it's your native language basically so whatever your native language is mine is english us and i'm not sure about like different locals you would have to look that up on your own research it for 5m but in my case it's en us that's the english united states kind of thing so these resources you don't need to change these at all um these scripts basically just all talk to each other I can't really I don't really know what like hard cap and basic game mode are because I don't really worry about that. The chat is the only thing that you should know of is the actual chat box that players use the chat in their game. Other than that, the other resources don't really matter as far as like knowing about them, because unless you're like trying to be a developer, then you would probably know about them. But if you're just making this as like a test server, you don't really need to care about them. Down here, I don't want to touch these because these are just the um, admins to have admin perms. And then this line just automatically puts you as an admin. So that way you can start restart scripts and refresh and do what you need to do. So we're going to press save and run server. We're going to let it load because on first starting of the server, it's going to take a minute to load everything. Um, especially like the chat and the webpack. So let it do its thing, let it load, let it think about it. And while it's loading, we can actually go ahead and join the server. So we can go to 5M and just launch it. So if you wanna connect to your server, just press this button. If for some reason the button's not there, there's another way you can, there's a couple other ways you can connect to your server. One way is you can press F8 and type connect localhost. Uh, connect spelled correctly localhost and then you can also press up here launch mp and localhost those are ways to um, connect to localhost but uh, I'm just going to press this button because it's available for me it should be available I've never had it where it's not available for me but if it's not those are the two ways to do that so it's just going to load the server and then after it's loading it's going to spawn us in if we take a look at our uh, console here, we can see that it says connecting and then my name Jack's Danger. And we can see like that chat is done loading and webpack is done. And now if we go back into 5M, we can see that we are loaded into the server. It is pretty empty. Like I said before, there's no blips. It's completely empty server. You just have your player model that you control the NPCs and the cars, and then the map, mini map, health bar, whatever, and then that's it. I am not gonna go over how to install scripts, that's gonna be a different video, but um, that's it for this video, installing a 5M server on your computer. Um, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and comment if you have any questions or concerns. You can join my Discord if you have any specific questions or you want to like make sure i respond other than that um thank you for watching and um deuces